Hello everyone, I wanted to do a follow-up video to the one I have on my channel regarding the Anito D7 uh, robot vacuum and basically the continuing saga of uh, this thing that sometimes works and, some, and sometimes doesn't. Um, if you go back and look at my previous video, uh, you'll see that the problem I had was the um, uh, vacuum going out and uh, stopping and then going back to its base. Um, I reached out to Nito at that time and they said that it needs to be in an open space with 10 feet visibility at all times to the base, which, you know, if I lived in a museum, that would work. Uh, since then, I basically moved that piece of furniture that you see in that video slightly over. I removed that bottle and the vacuum for the most part, I'm going to call it 90% of the times, was working. Uh, has been working. Um, unfortunately, the latest event here is that um, uh, it vacuum comes out, it tries three times to go and clean, and then it goes back to its base with some error. So I opened it up and I found that this ribbon cable, which goes right here, uh, was broken. So as you can see here, it's uh, um, snapped open here. All right, it was, so this cable lay just like this. All right, and you can see that tape to keep it stuck to this, to the side wall over here, fold it neatly and everything. And basically it was oriented like this. And, and again, as you can see, it was uh, broken right there, which how does this cable break? I don't know. So maybe there is vibration, it chafed against something, um, I have no idea. So I bought a new cable off of eBay, $15, and popped it in after waiting three weeks, and unfortunately, it still doesn't work. By the way, the problem is that uh, I realized that the LiDAR was not spinning. Um, so uh, that's how, uh, that's what made me open it because uh, I figured maybe the belt was off or something. The belt is off right now, only it's, it's actually right here, only because I uh, took it off just to see if the motor uh, at least tried to spin or whatever, right? So unfortunately, um, if I turn this on, uh, you will see that um, the LiDAR never, never turns. Um, so at this point, I don't know what to do. Um, I am going to reach out to uh, Nero and uh, see what they suggest. This is definitely out of warranty, so I don't know what to expect. But the fact that the cable was clearly damaged there, um, th there is no reason for that, right? So um, I will uh, let this boot up and I'll show you what it does. Okay, so it's booted up and it's connected to my Wi-Fi. So if I press the go button, okay, it starts and the vacuum turns on. Uh, the LiDAR, uh, well, I should say the motor, the belt is not connected, but the motor is not spinning, okay. And it's trying to, so as you can see, it just stopped. It's going to try again, and basically what it wants to do at this point is spin the LiDAR to see where it's at. Um, nothing's happening. In fact, it's not even moving out of the base actually, right? Um, uh, I mean, it's not attached to the base right now, but this thing is not moving at all. So uh, I know for a fact that this has to be spinning in order for it to recognize where it's at and what the environment looks like. So if you have any uh, ideas, uh, let me know. I will follow up with... Um, after I have an answer from Nito as to what to do about this. Thanks. And that's it. So as you can see, it arrows out and it just never did anything. So I'll let you know what they say. Bye.